We have new Hubble images from January 7th, guys, and we have something. It's still blowing our minds and uh, NASA is still operating, case closed, nothing to see here. CIA says it's classified, we're not giving you any information. And I want to quote Avi Loeb, who quotes Oscar Wilde. And Oscar Wilde said, we're all in the gutter, but some of us are looking at the stars. And that's why Avi Loeb has said in his recent post that when we observe interstellar objects in our backyard, we should not treat their anomalies as being of rather limited interest. Instead, let's focus on understanding the obvious anomalies of interstellar object 3i Atlas, especially its anti-tail jet. And then he says something very, very important, I think, guys, that we need to be aware of about the mysterious visitor. He says this visitor to our backyard is not a regular street cat since a tail appears to emerging from its head if you know what i mean this with the anti-tail and why is he saying um we should not treat 3i atlas as of rather limited interest because this is what happened to him can you imagine this and this is related to the new image that we have when the first hubble image came out july 21st he noticed an anomaly with a coma and he was writing a paper about it with a colleague and then this was rejected to be published because they said this is of rather little interest to the astronomer community. And he was baffled by this and then finally was able to publish it in another journal. But this is how NASA behaves. It's a normal comet. There's nothing to see here. And what he says when he looks at the new Hubble image, he says, it's remarkable. The tail is remarkable. Let's talk about this because now we're dealing with three anomalous jets, guys. Forget everything you know about comets. This is really what we need to do when we're dealing with 3i Atlas. Latest Hubble images from January 7th, 2026. We see something, guys, never observed before. We have a jet of material that is extending towards the sun, the anti-tail, and it's not away from the sun like a normal tail, but towards it. This isn't just weird, guys. This already challenges our understanding of comet physics. But now we're dealing with three jets. So let's break this down, what this looks like. You see it here on the image. Hubble Space Telescope has captured fresh images of 3i Atlas, and then they processed it with a technique that's called the larsen Secanina Rotational Gradient Filter, which removes the symmetric glow around the object to reveal faint structures, because otherwise we cannot see them. And then <laughs> this image shows us a complex triple jet pattern. And in the unprocessed Hubble images, um, 3i Atlas, and we already saw that on July 21st, um, has a glowing halo of light. And after processing, we see these three new jets prominent, tightly col collimated jet pointed like a laser, not wide like a usual comet, and it points towards the sun. And then we see two smaller jets. And here comes the thing, at an angular separation from it. So that's important. The sunward jet extends to a scale that's comparable to the distance from Earth to Moon, like hundreds of thousands of miles. And this is a scale way larger than expected for ordinary comet outgassing. We've discussed this. I've explained this in detail. Check my playlist about 3i Atlas in the end screen, because now we need to look at this new feature with the three jets, because that is really surprising. In every known comet, solar heating causes ice to supplement into gas right away. Dust and gas are blown away from the sun by solar radiation pressure and the solar wind. So producing a tail that's oriented opposite to the sun, it's strange. And the January 7th image shows a real physical structure that points towards the sun. Still, 
It's not like a visual imagination, not an illusion that's caused by viewing angle or perspective. And we're getting back to angle right away because that is important when we're talking about these two other jets. From earlier Hubble images in July 2025, we already noticed a feature that extended towards the sun about six times wider when corrected for projection. Now, in the new image that was processed on January 7th, um, it shows this sunward jet with a similar tight collimation, meaning it stays narrow and coherent over large distances, like a thruster, again, pointing towards the sun still. So the result that we see here, the primary jet towards the sun, two additional jets that we see here and now comes the angle in place placed roughly 120 degrees apart relative to the main jet absolutely geometric how can this be in a natural comet that is chaotic and doesn't have geometric geometric structures and also the, the jets, the structures, narrowness and persistent over this great distance are what makes this phenomenon, um, to say the least, scientifically noteworthy. But nobody's saying anything. NASA's not, we have, the press conference was on November 19th. Nothing, nothing. So this filtered image shows us this triple jet geometry. The two minor jets, the other jets that we see, they do not point directly away from the sun either. They are oriented at angles that are roughly equally spaced around the nucleus. Weird. I mean, we're dealing now with a symmetry or geometry. We have three jets that are separated roughly by an angle of 120 degrees. How is this possible in a chaotic natural element? It's not something ordinary comet models um, naturally predict. Not at all. We've never seen it before. And spatial alignment like this hints that the jets are tied to stable structure, structural or rotational features of 3i Atlas's nucleus. We've talked about the other observational studies slash anomalies of 3i Atlas's jet behavior. They show that its rotation period, it's about 16 hours. The minor jets show modulation consistent with rotation. Analysis of earlier Hubble images suggests the jet base may have maintained a consistent orientation relative to the sun even as the object rotated around it, its own axis. We've talked about this. Longer explanation in my videos, check the playlist. So this implies that the rotation axis itself might be nearly aligned with the sunward direction. This is a configuration with, how can we say it? very low random probability. Boof. So this, the January 7th Hubble image reveals that this anti-tail sunward jet cannot plausibly be explained by just viewing geometry, right? It's tricking our eye. No, it's not. It's a physical anti-tail structure. It's consistent across multiple observational timelines from different viewing angles over month, different astronomers. And these sunward extensions, we don't have an explanation for why they are like this. But moreover, the degree of collimation, how narrow and straight the jet remains, that suggests that like simple thermal sublimation alone cannot explain this phenomenon without invoking additional physics. So this, this sunward anti-tail jet is a major anomaly that nobody is even trying to explain the least. I mean, the best explanation, let's be honest, that I find that we have is that the CIA says it's classified. We're not telling you anything. 
right? Because NASA is not hinting at anything. They're just saying nothing to see here, natural comate, case closed. The anti-tail is a feature, the way that tail works is a feature that stands in contrast to absolutely any ordinary comate behavior. So this is a major anomaly plus this geometry, plus these 120 degree angles that we see here on this images. And this is a clear observational anomaly that stands apart from ordinary comatial behavior, con conventional thermal sublimation models, and simple perspective effects. So this new image, January 7th image, solidifies the existence of this jet structure. And really, it highlights to everyone out there how interstellar object 3i atlas continues to exhibit features that challenge our expectations to say the least but the only guy that seems to worry about this is harvard professor abi Lup and some of his colleagues the official narrative is strange and remains strange i'll stay on the pulse of this for you guys, if you want to learn about the latest um, images and more information that we are getting from 3i Atlas, March 16th is the date. And there's a moon, Jupiter has a moon, Ophema. And that is interesting because is 3i Atlas targeting that moon as well, aside from the fact that it's mysteriously coming towards Jupiter, which is another anomaly that nobody has explained. Check out the video in the end screen. Check out my playlist, guys. There's so much going on. Thank you so much for watching. I see you in the next one. Click here.